substitution into a formula. So a formula is just a rule or an equation containing two or more pronumerals, one of which is the subject of an equation, and the subject is the one that's by itself, and it might look something like this, E equals MC squared, where here E is the subject of this formula. And we have three pronumerals, and if we know the value of two of them, we can find the other one. So let's have a look at let's have a look at a formula. Let's have a look at u equals eight a plus four, and we want to find u if a equals three. So the first thing we want to do is we want to substitute in all the values we know. So we know a equals three. So let's go ahead and sub that in. So u would equal eight times a, but we know a is equal to three plus four. So u is going to equal to eight times three, which is 24 plus four. And 24 plus four is 28. So we can get that u is equal to 28. What about a different formula? So let's look at f equals 1.8 times c plus 32. This is actually a formula used to convert degrees Celsius into degrees Fahrenheit. So let's find let's find f if c is 34 degrees. Celsius. So we're going to go ahead and sub what we know into the formula. We don't know f. 1.8 times c. Well, we know c is 34, and we got the plus 32. So we can go ahead and do 1.8 times 34 plus 32 and all in the calculator, and that's going to give us 93. So this is going to be in degrees Fahrenheit. So 34 degrees Celsius is equal to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. We have this formula where E equals a half times mv squared. This is actually a formula used for kinetic energy, where E is energy, m is mass of something, and v is the velocity, which is kind of like another word for speed. And here we want to find E, if m is equal to a thousand and v is equal to 20. So m is actually measured in kilograms and v is measured in meters per second and E would actually give us an energy in joules. We don't have to know all this to plug in the numbers into the formula but just providing you with some context. Let's go ahead and find E. So put in everything we know, so it's a half times m, we know m is a thousand, times v squared, so we know v is 20, so it's 20 squared. So e would equal a half times a thousand times 20 squared, or well, 20 squared is 400. So we can do e equals a half times, or well, a thousand times 400 is 400,000. And then a half times 400,000 is going to be 200,000. And energy would be in joules, but don't have to know that.